Show of Please all time! A hero. The enemy is banning. I'll find the a new world. Not sure if our S3 had a really bad day or he's usually like this, everything that was coming from him was just negativity. But I can understand it if he was having a horrible losing streak or like I said, a bad day. Also, it was kind of my fault for not banning when it was my turn. I got a little bit distracted and didn't notice it was my ban. Anyway, Kojo recently got a buff and apparently he's one of the strongest mid laner right now. Maybe they buff him because finally Jujutsu Kaisen got a lot more interesting. I mean, the first half of the season was extremely slow. Johei is their jungler, and a lot of times Johei as the jungler loves to steal the opponent's red buff at the start of the game. If I were that Johei, I would have done that. Fortunately, they went for the more standard approach. I'm really glad that they finally fixed the bug of the first second skill combo. It feels a lot smoother now. I actually should have known that they were not ganking top because their jungler started with the red buff first, so the obvious rotation will be from the red to blue and then gain the gold lane. I should have worn our remarksman instead. I guess I was not fully awake yet for the first match of the day. Our Yusun was super low, I was hoping they would dive him and then I would counter gain them. Remember that you can use the enemy's minions to increase the range of his first skill. Their composition is pretty deadly against ours. Their early game is a lot stronger, and nobody can actually stop Odes old, except Yuson. But that won't happen until the mid to late game. Interesting, we got 5 in the bot lane. That means they are farming the early lanes completely for free. We kept letting them push our side lanes without any resistance. Things weren't looking too good for us. We are also down 1-6.
目標を設定したがあとはひたすら駆け上がりますアロマンがワンショットバイデローマー。This how bad the situation was I saw four of them top, so I used this chance to keep pushing mid. Whenever you see that there's a chance to push the mid turret, go for it. Destroying it, it opens the map a lot for your team. That old save Layla's life. That's one of Gojo's biggest strengths. You never truly 1v1 when he's in the game. This is a team fight that probably started to turn the tide of battle. Gojo gets a huge power spike in the mid to late mid game. Gojo in team fights is such a menace. All his skills have huge AoE range, can CC multiple targets, and most importantly, the burst damage from all his skills are off the charts. But his main weakness is definitely that he lacks a dash skill, so if you're out of position and two or three of the enemies jump on you, it's very unlikely that you will survive that situation. But that's why you should always stay behind and summon close to your allies, so you don't get picked off that easily. I didn't have vision of them, so I was being quite cautious here. But it's been such a long time and the lane was being pushed, there was no way they would still be hiding in the bush. Well, at least we got a couple turrets. Esther should have been using his skills for vision instead of clearing the wave. Just in case someone you didn't know, his second skill can reveal opponents on bushes. They kept catching us out of position. Playing Gojo in the late game is really fun. His insane damage output does resemble the OPness of the real character. Look, 
They love to use these mid bushes to ambush, so I have to constantly check with my second skill. Fell for that once, not falling for that again. That's why it's absolutely true that experience is the best mentor. Whenever some players are not performing that well, I usually say that one of the main reasons is probably because of the lack of experience. We probably could have ended if we didn't chase, but we're having too much fun. Okay, maybe I should try to end it now. Shit. Gojo is not that great at destroying buildings. Okay, we shouldn't mess around anymore. In the past, I've lost some matches because we trolled too much in the end. If I wasn't playing solo and was teaming up with some reliable players, it would have been okay to keep messing around. But in solo rank, you never want to take that chance, because you never know if you can rely on them in the late game. <laughs> 